everyone and welcome back to another episode on the igniter smp hope you're all going to enjoy this one it has taken a very long time to get out basically in this episode we're going to start working on the mega base we're not actually going to start building it yet sadly but we're going to get a few of the resources and all of that jazz we're going to start working in a creative test world which is going to be so so cool and i can't wait you all to see what i've got planned so i've been working on some things basically i've been working on this path basically in my creative world planning to build my mega base and so this is kind of what the path's going to consist of some dripstone cardboard mossy cardboard uh different types of dirt um path blocks all that stuff and some tough i would say it's it's pretty good it's good as it is so these white blocks are going to be like a path kind of thing going up to my base with fields on either side you know and this white area is going to be where my actual base kind of is there's going to be custom trees on each side as well and there's going to be wheat fields on each side now my base is kind of going to be like a uh, sphere with storage rooms on either side so it's going to be like that size but bigger and yeah um on either side the design might have glass a bit like that I haven't really decided yet um and there's gonna be like these little shops with villagers in um on either side as well so yeah that's my plan and this was the first ever custom tree i've ever made in minecraft i think it looks pretty cool that's just my thinking though but yeah if you have any tips on how i can make it look better i'd love to hear them. now the way i've just been making them is i get my wood and i just kind of just make a random kind of shape given an outline i think i'm making them a bit too thick i'm really not sure also you meant to use stripped wood or normal wood because i kind of like the way the stripped wood looks but i don't know yeah as you can see this is way too thick so maybe something like this would be a little bit better yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like something like this, and then if we bring it out a bit more, a bit higher, yeah, something like, something like that, oh, mm, I don't know, I'm, I'm not an expert on these trees, as I was saying, this is basically, I believe the third or fourth one I've ever built, don't have much practice with them, I've been, I've been watching a few tutorials here and there, but, hey, I'm, I'm not, um, I, w I wish and I may just pay someone on the server to do it to be honest and as far as I know you just come in with the leave action and you just spam leaves now if I did have some I would use I'm trying to oh, I don't like these spruce leaves mm, I like flowering azalea leaves but the thing is I'm trying to use leaves that I have in the survival world so I can basically just uh take a screenshot of this pull this up on my phone then start building it in uh my actual in the actual igniter essence this is just a single player testing world okay how's it looking <laughs> it looks very weird okay so maybe this isn't the best way to make trees but it's the way i know and it's the way i built the other and and the other one looked decent and how does it look let's take a peek it's not the worst not the worst at all now I do prefer the others, but I'm all right with that. That isn't too bad whatsoever. I think we do need to add a few more leaves onto this tree. Uh, no, no, that's too low. Okay, yeah, something maybe like that. Yeah, do you want leaves everywhere? I feel like I just made this tree a bit worse, but. Yep, this video is just turning into trees. Well, yeah, that one, the base is too big, but maybe if we did a base something like that? base though i feel does it i don't i don't know i feel like i'm struggling with this strip wood i like the way the strip wood looks though now i think it's time i finally showed you guys what i've been working on on the actual igniter smp
see, I've been working pretty hard on the terracotta mining, trying to restock my shop. Even though, well, business is not booming. As you can see, we've now got some pretty good tools. We've also got some pretty good armor. And I also bought a beacon. And this is on my screen, which is why I'm going to be using F1. So, I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I've been up to on the Igniter SMP. And why this episode has taken so long to release. So if we come all the way over here, as you can see, we have some villagers. I paid one diamond block each for these villagers from VidMC. He delivered them very quick. Give him a 10 out of 10. Now if we come over here, you can see this white outline. This is gonna be kind of what my megabase, megabase will look like, a circle in the middle and storage rooms on either end. Here's a drawing on the screen. And now over here, we have some materials I've been gathering, buying from shops and getting myself. Glass, wood, uh, some deep slate, some blackstone, a uh, load of random dirt and moss, uh, deep slate, calcite, more of that, more deep slate, and more granite and all that. So I've been up to quite a lot on the Igniter SMP. And stuff on this server comes up pretty big. I mean, over here is literally VidMC's mega base coming straight up from the ground. It's literally, I've, I've not been in the ocean for the past few days and that pops up. There's also now a beacon shop, so I bought a beacon, now I've got two. And now I have something to show you that VidMC has been working on in the never. Let me tell you, it's awesome, if it will load. So as you can see, we're on the never roof. Now all the never portals link to the never roof. And well, that's how you get to the normal never. <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, this is everyone's portals. I'm sorry it's a bit laggy. I mean, it's the never after all. There's VidMCs, that one's mine over there I think. And everyone's just has their own. I mean, you can color coordinate it with your own carpets. So it's easier to follow for people, which I may end up doing. But I just think it's quite nice. You know, VidMC put a lot of time into this, linking up everyone's portals, I think. And yeah, it's just awesome. So big thanks to VidMC. So the other thing we have to do is, I went mining, got about 40 diamond blocks earlier, and I set up my other beacon, but wait, let's just get some more fireworks and golden carrots. And so, after I went mining, I forgot to pick up my beacon. So, we gotta do that quickly. And uh, if we just drop on down here, should be able to not take much full damage. Pick up the shulker boxes without any creepers, hopefully. And now, we're safe to just mine this beacon. Now, let's... Wh where'd it go? Hopefully, it's just a bug. Okay. Good. Now, let's just really quickly uh, time lapse this, I guess. Okay. Beacon. Mining. Almost done. Okay. Now that that is done, we can fly out of it. We can fly out of it. I said we can fly out of it. I said we can fly out of it. There we go. Now, I think we have everything we need. We watch the sun set. And we go to sleep. That should do it. It's basically more beef than cow has a shop. It's not that great. Looks ugly. So, we're now putting this in backspace as a joke. When really it was in beef space. But, the other reason I'm here in backspace is for my heads. We had a head hunt. I didn't win. I didn't have as many heads. And I'm trying to think which box is my box with the heads I had. I know I had a wither head. And I had two heads. This isn't my box. I didn't have phantoms. I don't know which one it was. I think this could be it. I know I had a lot of endermen heads. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, th I did have a wither head. And it this looks like my box. This looks like my box. So, you know take that box and I do believe that one's mine too so now we got our heads back 
thank you all for watching and i hope you all enjoyed that episode it may not have seemed like i did a lot but in reality i did a lot all of that stuff i mined on 40 diamond blocks all that stuff takes very very long time and can't wait for next episode in the meantime if you want to get notified for that then subscribe and like the video and join my discord server so you get notified for future uploads and i will see you in the next episode goodbye oh.